So, you've run the marathon, sold the raffle ticket, dressed up, entered the four ball, begged and borrowed and finally reached your fundraising target. Thanks for all your hard work. And most of all, congratulations. You've made it to the Mellon Educate pre-departure briefing. Each and every one of you play a key role in making this school building blitz a huge success. Just a few more steps before we get stuck in, helping thousands of children get a quality education. One of those steps is to pay careful attention to this video. How did this all begin? It started with a heart and a brick. When a chap called Niall Mellon went on holiday to South Africa, he saw, beyond the spectacular views, something that he couldn't ignore. Smart, proud people living in dilapidated shacks with no electricity, no running water, no sanitation. And Niall knew he needed to change this. So one man with a kind heart inspired something huge. A collective effort of over 22,000 volunteers working together, building 25,000 beautiful houses which became a blueprint for millions of homes in South Africa. Then one day, Nelson Mandela shared some wise words with Niall. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And so a new vision was born, building schools and training teachers, creating a legacy that would grow and grow. Since 2013, Mellon Educate has been improving school infrastructure as well as teaching and learning in under-resourced schools in townships in South Africa. The charity's mission is to support the provision of quality education for a minimum of 100,000 disadvantaged children by 2025. Every one of you in this room are about to become part of a collective effort. Thanks to all our volunteers who are joining us this November. We are so excited to welcome our brand new volunteers. We cannot wait to meet you and share the Building Blitz experience with you. Never forgetting our veteran volunteers, we are so delighted that you are returning with us once again. It just wouldn't be the same without you. This will be our ninth Mellon Educate School Building Blitz and our 20th Building Blitz Week in our 21st year of the charity's existence. Our mission over six days in two schools is building 18 new classrooms, two playgrounds, four covered shelters, two literacy hubs, one kitchen, two toilet blocks, as well as improving many other classroom facilities, impacting the quality of education for over 2,500 children. The two schools are Isipiwo and Chuma Primary Schools in Kayalicha Township. Mellon Educate visited the schools to take a closer look. In Kayalicha, most of our families are coming from homes where there's no running water, no electricity, and where the families have no food on the table. So volunteers, welcome to the northern end of Kalicha, an area that most of you won't be familiar with. This is one of the schools you'll be building in this year, and it's called Izipiwa Primary School. Let's go inside and see what you're going to build. So at this school, volunteers, you will be refurbishing the existing grey door behind me, and then three new grey doors here, a new play park for the children, and then a dedicated Mellon Educate Literacy Hub as well. Here on my left is the kitchen, which you will be refurbishing. It's a vital part of the school's infrastructure because every day, all of the children are fed from this kitchen. Here then, on my right-hand side, we will be building four new classrooms in place of the, the temporary classrooms which are currently here. As you can see, they're in awful condition. So there will be four classrooms here, and then around the corner, two more classrooms, so six classrooms in total. Hello, volunteers. Welcome to ECPO Primary School in Harare, Cape Town. We are very fortunate to have uh, this project with you guys because we are looking forward to it because uh, we are having lots and lots of learners in our classrooms, about 42 per classroom. 
and you are looking forward to reduce the numbers of the learners into about 30 in the class so that we can have that individual attention to the learners. Here we are at Chuma Primary School in Kalicha. And let me tell you what you're going to build here at this school. On my left hand side, there'll be two brand new grade or classrooms. Beside that, our dedicated Mellon Educate Literacy Hub. And next to that, a brand new kitchen. We've got about 1,358 learners and we have to feed all those learners in about only 27 classes. We have about 52 in a class. So I think the program is definitely going to help us very, very, very much. Over here, you will be building a covered shelter with seating for the children to have their meals at. Behind me, the two temporary classrooms you can see will be removed and replaced with seven brand new classrooms in this area. So volunteers, as you can see, there's a lot of work to be done and we cannot wait to see you in November. Your commitment and dedication to this project will empower and change lives of our learners and our communities. Thank you so much for being part of this incredible journey of Melon Educate. We believe with education, we can change our communities and change poverty. With education, poverty can change. We're changing the cycle of the poorest communities in South Africa. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. Building additional classrooms allow the Mellon Educate Literacy Team to establish our very successful community-centred literacy hubs at these schools. Watch the next video to find out why our primary focus is to address the literacy crisis in South Africa. COVID-19 has widened the, the learning gap of our learners and even before 2020 there were huge learning barriers in terms of our learners and this program couldn't have come at a better time. The levels of literacy at the school are very low. We are trying with this initiative to improve the levels of the school. The aim is to inculcate a culture of reading okay. at the school. The bow is on. The Mellon Educate Literacy Program is focused on closing the gap in basic reading and writing skills for learners from grade R to grade 3. Our learners spend one hour once a week in the Literacy Hub and where they receive one-on-one -on -one tutoring. This one-on-one -on -one tutoring allows the learners to develop their confidence while learning to read and write in a very relaxing and nurturing environment. We are here to support the teachers in the classroom with the kids as we believe that not, te not one teacher can teach like over 44 kids which is overcrowded. When the learners come from their classroom, when they are entering our Melon hubs, they see this bright environment, they see this safe space for them, no one's going to judge them, they, no one's going to laugh at them, they're going to learn while looking on the walls, they see the colour, they see the number, they see the alphabet which is something they are not familiar with. So it's so useful for them and they are feeling safe here. Although Reading for Meaning is our main focus, our program is community-centred. So we don't just work with the child, but we also upskill the young people from the community. Our Mellon Educate program trains young people from communities around our schools to be tutors. So not only are the learners benefiting from our program, we are creating employment opportunities to our young adults in communities. Our Mellon Educate Literacy tutors receive intensive training for this program. They also receive training in other skills which can assist them for their future careers. And this is all made possible through our multi-year partnerships we have with many organisations. This program has inspired me a lot. It has brought food on my table. It has brought me back my dignity. 
because everybody in my community, they respect me for the work that I'm doing, for the help that I'm giving to the kids. I had a learner back then who was in grade one. The learner came here struggling with English in terms of reading and writing. So when we finished with the program, the learner improved so much so that the parent came to school and asked who was the person behind my son's improvement, which is, it was me. So, and I was proud of it and such a great honor to be helping him. With our volunteers and donor support, we are planning to scale up this community-centred literacy hub and tutor model by replicating it into additional disadvantaged schools and communities across the country. There's no better way than seeing the impact of your contribution than visiting a Mellon Educate Literacy Hub. The latest literacy stats show that 81% of grade 4 learners cannot read for meaning. And we're looking to change those stats with our team of 85 literacy community tutors who work across our 10 Mellon Educate Literacy Hubs. We are working hard to change the academic futures of these young learners. You'll get an opportunity to come and see the Literacy Hubs during the Blitz Week. We are looking forward to having you. By now, you will be inspired and energised for this life-changing Blitz. Just a few more very important bits of information. Listen carefully. Alongside our goal of improving school infrastructure, we also have a responsibility to be environmentally friendly. To expand on our current efforts and make greater strides in looking after our environment, we have implemented a strict no plastic water bottle policy. You will need to bring your own reusable water bottle this year and a clip or belt to carry it on your person while you are working. We would ask that you clearly mark your water bottle as your own. All your water will be supplied from water trucks located on site. Please be mindful and try not to waste water. We already make use of biodegradable tea and coffee cups with recycling areas in place and we would appreciate all volunteer support and assistance in ensuring that as much as possible of our recyclable waste is placed in the clearly marked recycle bins. On-site information. Last bus to site will depart at 7am sharp. It will not wait around. A hard hat and steel boots must be worn. Your name badge must be visible. You must wear your kit t-shirt on site every day. Please remember that you are working on a building site and appropriate clothing is required. Red card if you break these rules more than once, which means a flight home. All volunteers on site are broken into groups. The groups are made up of a mixture of trade and non-trade volunteers. There are four key roles to remember. Foreman. The foreman is the manager of the group. They wear a yellow hard hat. They coordinate all of your work. When you arrive on the first day, they will hold a meeting and assign your duties for the week. Volunteer support. Volunteer support will help with the smooth running of the group and deliver daily updates and communications. They will help with any problems you may encounter interacting with fellow volunteers. Health and safety officer. Our health and safety officer's role is to work side by side with the foreman to ensure that we have a safe and healthy working environment for all. They wear a red heart hat. Medical team. The medical team is based on the site compound throughout the working day and in the hotels in the morning and evenings. Remember, foremen, health and safety officers, volunteer support and medics are all volunteers just like you. They have raised their funds just like you and have voluntarily taken on extra responsibility to ensure the smooth running of the Blitz week. They are your colleagues and partners in this week. If you have any issue that you feel strongly about, please speak with Blitz staff. Health and safety. Our policy is the provision of a safe and healthy working environment for all volunteers during the course of the building Blitz. Look after yourself and others. You must wear minimum personal protection equipment. Hard hat, safety boots or steel toe boots, gloves and shirts. All cuts and bruises must be covered. Wrap-around glasses are a necessity. Long trousers are strongly recommended. Always remember, a tidy site is a safe site. Read your health and safety book before departure. Security. Security of the volunteers is at the top of our agenda. We take it very seriously 
and have a professional security team working with us throughout the week. Here are a few very important guidelines how to keep safe during the week of the building blitz. The building site. Do not take chances, whether it is your first time or fifth time on the blitz. Do not cross the site boundaries. Do not take valuable personal belongings with you on site, such as jewellery, money, phones, expensive cameras or passport. Never walk alone. Only stay in groups of four or more people, especially at night time. Always ask the hotel to call you a taxi, no matter how short the journey. Never use on-street ATMs. Only use ATMs accompanied by a group. And remember, a group is four or more people. Always exercise caution, because your health and safety is our priority. Educational program. Our educational program is a very important part of the Building Blitz. Whether you are a first-time volunteer or a long-standing veteran, please make the time to attend community and school visits we have arranged this year. It will help you to see and better understand what local families and communities are enduring. It will allow you to talk to people you are helping by taking part in the Building Blitz. It will inspire you to work even harder to help those who are in need. We kindly ask you to always remember we are guests in these schools. These are real lives and real people. Please treat the children as you would want your own children to be treated. Respect the local customs and culture and always ask for permission to take photographs. Never presume. Please check the visit schedule with volunteer support. Donations. The local communities really appreciate the donations our volunteers bring to them. But we ask you, do not donate directly on site or during the educational visits. This causes huge security issues for the recipients and compromises the family. Each year, as always, we will work with the local community leaders and social workers to ensure that everything is distributed fairly. Donations to the local community, and especially the children, are a huge part of our building blitz. We know that many of you have spent months collecting toys and clothing to bring with you in November. We have a variety of flights reserved this year. Please contact the office in relation to your individual luggage allowance to enable you to bring as much as possible with you. Blitz Logistics and Practicalities your flight tickets will be sent to you 14 days before departure. You must have a valid passport, and it must be in date six months after your visit is completed. This year, most of you will have two flights to take to get to Cape Town, and the total travel time will be about 17 hours. We will be staying in one hotel, the Cape Sun, Strand Street, Cape Town. For any queries or issues, a help desk at the hotel is manned by charity staff between 6pm and 7pm every evening. A medic will be on call from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every evening. Our insurance requires that all first-time volunteers must have their fitness to travel certificate signed off by their GPs before traveling. The same also applies for all veteran volunteers 70 years and older. To reduce the risk of contracting COVID-19 during the building blitz, clean your hands often using alcohol-based hand rub available on site. Cover your nose and mouth with your bent elbow or a tissue when you cough or sneeze. We ask that all volunteers bring 10 antigen tests each for regular testing as they are not readily available in Cape Town. For the sake of your fellow volunteers, please be honest if you are displaying any symptoms of COVID-19. Test yourself and await your result. Wearing a mask on transport is your personal choice. We have contingency plans in place for all eventualities. Rest assured that we will look after you in the event of anything happening to you. Mellon Educate will continue to follow the guidance of the World Health Organization and national governments, alongside relevant local precautions. Please check with your doctor regarding vaccinations and boosters you may require for Cape Town. When working on site, be realistic with your fitness. Take regular breaks. Drink at least eight bottles of water per day. Lunch on site will be provided. Never accept food from locals. It is the policy of the charity to police vet all our volunteers. All first-time volunteers must submit their police clearance forms before travel. A reminder to veteran volunteers that police clearance is valid for three consecutive building blitz weeks. So make sure yours is up to date. If you have not yet returned your police clearance form, please contact the charity office immediately. Read up about your destination before you travel. Be knowledgeable and respect local culture and customs. Always ask permission when taking photographs. Never presume. 
we recommend you to bring the following items on the building blitz. Steel toe boots, light rain jacket, fleece jacket, and some warm clothes. Light, loose clothing, small medical kit, prescription medication, lots of sun cream, after sun, insect repellent, and wrap around sunglasses. Thank you for being part of this journey to change lives and empowering our communities with education.